I'm excited to reintroduce you to Laravel Forge. Laravel Forge is a next generation server management platform built for developers who just like to ship things. And in this relaunch of Laravel Forge, this video is going to take you, the developer, someone who might know what Laravel Forge is and what it does currently. Here's five things that come new with the Laravel Forge relaunch today. First things first, when you log into the relaunched Laravel Forge, you're greeted with a brand new design, but that's not where it ends. Now you have a command K palette. This gives you the ability to basically do anything that you would do in previous versions of Forge and in the new relaunched Laravel Forge, where I can just do it all from this command palette. So maybe even finding a specific server if I would like to jump to that specific server or even a site within that server. Everything can be done within the command palette itself. Of course, it's still incredibly easy to get around Laravel Forge outside of the command palette, but the command palette, command K or control K if you're on Windows, just gives you a quick access into everything that you might normally need, including the documentation of Laravel Forge, or just a simple ask Forge, like, hey, what is an app server? And this allows you to have specific AI access into the Forge documentation right at your fingertips. Next one, number two, I'm really excited about. It's custom on-forge.com domain names. What this means is if you create a new site in any existing Laravel Forge server that you have, or a new server that you spin up, let's say a new Laravel site, then you're given the ability to have a on-forge.com domain name specifically created for that site. So if I was to uh, add this particular chirper repository that I have in my GitHub account, uh, I can say that this is going to be the chirper forge domain name. After creating this site, I have access to this site at chirper.hon-forge.com. Of course, I can add my own custom domain name in the site creation or afterwards as well, but it's nice to be able to have this flexibility to have an on-forge.com domain for any new site that you spin up. Number three, this one is not super flashy, but believe me, you're gonna love it. It's zero downtime deployments. So any new site that you spin up within an existing or new server in Laravel Forge, you automatically have zero downtime deployments, just like this new Chirper site that I just deployed a few minutes ago. Chirper is actually the demo application that we build in the new Laravel bootcamp on Laravel Learn. That's laravel.com slash learn, so you should check it out. But now that I deployed that new site, you can see here we have zero downtime deployments enabled. So what this means is that anytime we create any new deployment, we push to deploy using GitHub or something similar where we do a manual deploy, we have zero downtime deployments. It's not going to shut down our site while this deploy is happening. So yeah, not super flashy, but really helpful. Next up, number four of the five new things that the Laravel Forge relaunch gives to you is easier monitoring and metrics. Now it's incredibly easy to just connect to Nightwatch and have more in-depth metrics if you would like that, but I'm talking about even simpler things. To show you what's new, I wanna take a look at the old UI of Laravel Forge. Now taking a look at that same server that we were just looking at, but in the old UI, Laravel Forge gives you the ability to monitor, create new server monitors that say, okay, when something happens, like CPU load average, use disk space, or use memory, once it hits a specific limit, we can notify you. Okay, that's great, but what does this look like in the new UI? Well, Laravel Forge now gives you the ability to observe more than just those specific server monitors. So all that functionality is still there if and when you need it. But now you have the ability to view metrics as well. For example, we can see when I created the two demo sites just recently because my CPU spiked just a bit and this is a very small server. So this is a good way to get a good overview, a good glance at what might be happening with your server in those spikes of traffic. And not just CPU usage, but also bandwidth from inbound and out bound traffic. In addition to the new metrics that you have on the server level that you can see on that observe page that we just looked at, you also have new metrics within the Forge relaunch on a site level as well. Clicking into observe, you have the ability to create heartbeats. What are heartbeats? Well, you have the ability to send a notification if let's say your schedule job that runs every minute, it takes longer than you expect it to. So let's say I have a, a YouTube scrape job that usually happens every 30 minutes. 
Uh, I want it to notify me if it takes longer than five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and create that heartbeat. So our scheduled task is going to ping this URL when it's done executing. And if it doesn't hit that URL in that given time, then we'll know to be notified by Laravel Forge. In addition to heartbeats, sites have the ability to have health checks as well. So after you deploy, if you go into the deployments section of your deploy, you have the ability to enable health checks. Any Laravel application since Laravel 11 has a route of slash up, and you can of course change this if you want, but it's just going to say, hey, is this site actually deployed and running the way we expect? So health checking, yes, we should be good to go. And that health check is going to run after your site finishes deploying just to make sure that everything's a okay. All right, last number five, but certainly not least because this is the most highly anticipated feature of the Forge relaunch, it's Laravel VPS. So the last of these five things that come with the Forge relaunch is not just Laravel VPS, it's actually a feature that is specific to Laravel VPS. And actually we have a full video of what it looks like to deploy a site in Laravel VPS right up there in the top right that you can see as well. And so while I won't show you the full process in this video, if you create a new server, you're given the ability to use Laravel VPS as your new server instance. So now that I'm in a newly provisioned Laravel VPS instance, I can show you the final feature. You can create a real-time shared terminal session within your VPS. I'll go ahead and hide my face so you can see more of the screen. It's as simple as clicking here to go to launch terminal, or of course with the command palette, launch terminal. And now we're in the instance of a terminal within our VPS. So this is similar to how you would SSH into your server on your local computer. But now you can do it all within Laravel Forge. But that's not where the fun ends. The fun starts when you can have shared terminal instance real time within your teammates or other folks within your organization. So I have a different account logged into that same organization, that same server, and I'm going to launch that same terminal. And all of a sudden, my teammates, switching back over, has the ability to start a new terminal session within this Laravel VPS instance. We'll make this larger again. And so within this real-time shared terminal session, anything that I type, my teammate who is in this pairing session will be able to see it, and whatever commands that we have will be shared within our session. So if I even say, hi there, Kieran, my teammate is going to see that same message or just anything that we might type within the specific uh, console. The whole Laravel team is so excited to reintroduce you to Laravel Forge and all of these features that we just talked about, these five, there's probably one that didn't make the cut that you like even better as you play around with the new Laravel Forge. So don't forget to like, subscribe, but let us know in the comments below what feature works best for you. But why don't you take this time to refamiliarize yourself with the new Laravel Forge, knowing that the web is your frontier.